Yes, I want to talk about uh, what is in the news, and uh, what is in the news is uh, Seattle has banned case cased, dis- cased discrimination. So there is a new law in Seattle, Washington, uh, that was introduced by Council Member Kash- Kashama Sawant. She is the only Seattle socialist, elected socialist. I'm only Indian American on the council. The ordinance, the ordinance has raised questions about caste, other system of inherited social statuses, and how the new law will work. So, so the caste, uh, the caste system is an uh, ancient social hierarchy that originated with Hinduism in India. Caste is assigned at birth and rooted in the concept of so-called spiritual purity. The system has existed in some form for at least 3,000 years. I'm just reading this from Seattle Times. And so, yeah, so this past, so there is a ban on caste discrimination. So, um, are we, will we be able to do the same thing here in Minnesota? Many cities across Minnesota, not only Minneapolis. I'm talking about Bansville, I'm talking about many other cities. Uh, but also, I wanted to compare this with uh, with clanism. 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 Um, for most of you who don't know, if I tell you uh, comparably, uh, if you have heard of clan discrimination, most of you have. A lot of my audience understand what I'm talking about. So there's clan discrimination. There's caste discrimination. So more so with the, with, with the Hinduism is uh, caste discrimination. A clanism can be a positive and negative within the cont- I'm talking about within the Somali community. Clanism, where there's different groups of people. Um, um, with clan affiliation can be positive for identification purposes. They usually say uh, we are a clan because we need to identify ourselves as a group. Uh, but also, clanism can also have uh, it brings about discrimination. It brings about discrimination. So, Minneapolis City Council. I don't know if that's something a uh, city council person in Minneapolis. I might have to speak to Jamal Osman. Uh, or whoever is elected from Ward 6. Let's see if we can introduce clan discrimination uh, ban in the city of Minneapolis. Also, clan discrimination ban in the state of Minnesota. It's a form of discrimination, honestly speaking. We don't talk about it. A lot of our community don't talk about it, but it's there. Um, and uh, you have instance, instances of uh, people getting uh, jobs because of their clan, someone in their clan, not because of qualifications, not because they're in America. Of course, the, America is a land of discrimination. America is a land of discrimination. Uh, the foundation of this country is discrimination. Um, so it's not something unique to the Somali American community, a new community. So the challenges Hindus, Hindus have or Indians have with caste is the same challenge we have with clanism in Minnesota. Because you can see, clearly see by evidence, we have people who have been elected here in Minnesota, Somalis who have been elected here in Minnesota, and they hire their clan people. They only hire their cousins or they only hire their closest uh, clan affiliate, uh, the closest person they are affili- affiliated with when it comes to clan. And not only just the clan, but we're talking about deeper, deeper. So there's subsection to clan, you know, so there is, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to break this down. Um, maybe somebody that I've started sociology and understands how this works very well can better explain. But I promise I will do my homework next time and really break it down to exactly what I mean. 
Uh, but there's instances of uh, discriminations uh, against other clans, uh, even here in Minnesota. In the city of Minneapolis, at the state level, we have instances of people that have been elected. A lot of, uh, you know, this, uh, our uh, American neighbors don't know this. Uh, but there's a deep-seated discrimination within the Somalis. A lot of our neighbors, uh, our African neighbors, our white neighbors, our Jewish neighbors, our other people, you know, uh, groups don't don't understand. They think we are just one unit. We are we, we're not, to be honest. Even in, when it comes to policies, you you can clearly see discrimination when uh, elected people are making policies and and how they go about behaving in public functions. When they go to their clan events, it's, it's a different, it's a, there's a difference, you know? And they rarely go to other clan events. Jobs, discrimination. Healthcare, discrimination. And housing, discrimination. It is evidently, it is there. It's evidently, it's there. There is a deep-seated discrimination. So if Seattle, Washington is able to ban CAST, for most of you who are joining me now, a CAST, CAST discrimination is, is a Hindu. In Hinduism, they have what they call a CAST system. You know, you're born into, you're born into being poor, or you're born into a royalty, or you're born into wealth. That's where you stay until you die, and then you are reincarnated. So if you are a good person. You come the next life, you might end up in a in a higher hierarchy in a, in in the case system. And so I'm comparing that with Somali clanism. Somali clanism, and and, and, and so if Seattle can ban case discrimination, it's time for Minneapolis also. And it's time, actually, for the whole of Minnesota, and actually, for every city to ban clan discrimination. It's by evidence we know it's there. We clearly, among us as Somalis, we see it every day. Uh, we witness it. We take part in it. Also, we take part. You, we take part in clan affiliation. We take part in clan um, support system. We take part on, but we don't support the other clan. Even when it comes to running for office, political office, you know, each clan mobilizes its own resources and people to support its, its clan candidates. And you, 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 you just watch closely, you will see it. Most of us don't know, but that is that's a fact. It's there. And... Uh, Maybe Jamal Osman, I will have a conversation with Councilman Jamal Osman. If he's re-elected to introduce to ban clan discrimination or any other city councilman that I can reach out to. Um, I know a few, one or two or three other ones. I lost one of them this past election. So maybe I can reach out to him. But, but this is something I would like uh, anybody from Ward 6, any Somali city council person that is elected to introduce this uh, clan discrimination, to ban, cl uh, to ban clan discrimination. But not only in the city council of Minneapolis. I'm talking about every city in Minnesota. And also, maybe I can reach out to Mahamun or Hodan Hassan or uh, Samagab or one of these elected people and see if we can introduce clan discrimination into Minnesota law. So every Somali gets an opportunity to be hired, to have an opportunity for housing, to have an opportunity for education. Even when you look at uh, Somali Americans that, are, that have, have companies and organizations, they hire on the basis of their clan somebody that they're related to. That's discrimination in this country. And it should be illegal. It should be illegal. So I want to rally 
people to to this issue because it seems like we're just pushing it we pretend that it's not there but it's there Somalia as a, as, as a Somalia as a community we do discriminate against each other based on our clan affiliation you have the major clans and then you have the smaller clans you have the sub clans it goes all the way down and so we live in a great country and this should not be the case because that's what we all ran away from that we had to fight each other for supremacy with bullets and guns and bombs and loss of lives and when we're here this should not be the case this is not how it should be I am telling you for a fact go to any elected officials in Minnesota who are Somalis they have only hired their relatives in, in the positions that is available to them to hire you, I'm telling you anyone that has been elected from Congress to City Council <laughs> the people they have around is, 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 is their cousin their cousins The close relative, you know. And not only that, we're talking about education, we're talking about housing, we're talking about employment, we're talking about many things. Opportunity. You see only one clan helping each other and trying to hide opportunities. And usually these opportunities come from people who are in a higher position or have been elected. Can identify an opportunity, a business opportunity, a, a, a job opportunity, a hiring op and they only share it with their clan or their sub-clan, somebody they're close to. They call them up, let them know, hey, you know, I'm your congressman or congresswoman, there's this business opportunity, funding opportunity, I only want my sub-clan to have this opportunity. Uh, somebody in this house, somebody in city council, somebody, you know, this, these things are happening. A lot, a lot of Americans don't know, but they're going to eventually. Somebody is going to have to talk about it. Somebody is going to have to talk about it. But it's, it's about time we spoke about it because it's very, very unfortunate. And it's very, for me, I'm a people's person. I love everybody. Like, for me, I look at people as, equal i'm not perfect that's not what you know that's not what i'm driving at i am not perfect i'm not a perfect human being yes i have my issues yes i have my weaknesses yes i i have my stereotype yes uh in my mind without me knowing i might be thinking of something about other people not out loud but in my head And it's, this, this, is, this is the environment that, uh, you know, the, condi the conditioning that I have grown it, uh, around, you know, the, what I see around, you know. You see someone, you know, when someone commits a crime here in Minnesota, the first thing they don't ask that individual, they ask his clan or what tribe he was. Isn't that... Isn't that unfortunate? Like when, when we identify a success, we identify it as a clan. Oh, the Majerten guy won. Oh, the Majerten lady won. Or you see the Ogaden guy won. Or you see the Hawiya guy lost. Or you see, uh, you know, that's, that's just a common identifier. That's discrimination. That is clan discrimination. It's all, like we don't identify that one individual. If one individual commits a robbery or a violence or some sort of something, we try to rally around that person's clan. It's like the whole clan did something. No. It's very unfortunate. 